Last time on Resident Evil, we got hit on the head. And okay, we're still in the same place than earlier. Oh, okay. Here's a gentle person who smacked us in the face. And wants to again? I'm not entirely sure why um, this thing bumped us on the head, uh, dragged us downstairs, and then waited for us to wake up. <laughs> yeah. That's... Like, I... <laughs> I, <laughs> I... 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 I don't know. Um, I get the feeling like they just wanted to introduce this thing as a scary thing that will chase you in some parts. But I don't know why they decided to bump you on the head. Yeah. <laughs> With this transition. That's it was completely unnecessary. That was completely pointless. I don't know, maybe they just wanted a part of the game to be fun. Um I I don't know. Alright, are are you are you are you ready to see uh Resident Evil that AVI? Oh, Resident God. Resident Evil puzzle. That AVI. I am so looking forward to this. Also, I'm walking here because I, I think, like, several times I tried to run and the crows got annoyed and attacked me, so I'm not taking a chance. Oh. Alright, so there's two tombs. One of them says, win something, something, something. Alright. And the other one has a bunch of uh, symbols on it. Right. The pause button plus plus equals equal. Alright, so, we have a wind crest, and this tomb on the right wants something wind. Yep. So we might as well put it there, and we get three more symbols! <laughs> Guess what we're gonna do with those! <laughs> That's, like, completely unnecessary. Wait, hold on, it's not over! Oh my god. If you examine the the back of the symbols, there's oh. there's a thing that you have to press. And now okay. you can put them on the other tomb. Oh god. Okay, so you have to push this for everything? Yeah. Because <gasps> otherwise they don't stick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the stupidest puzzle. <laughs> And also, it probably is a big fuck you if you're playing as the guy, because... Exactly, hey. yeah, yes, exactly, because it's the guy... Well, I mean, it's just annoying, because that means you have to pick them up one by one, instead of pick them up three at a time. Yeah. It's not impossible, because if you have room oh, for the ones... Oh, and we get a gun! <laughs> yeah, we got a gun! Alright. There's a gun in that tomb. It's actually the most... Powerful oh. gun in the game. Oh yeah, Magnum. <laughs> well, technically not, but it will be for us. Uh -oh. And the M the ammo for this thing is super rare, so I will basically never use it. Oh. <laughs> super well, rare. Because, because it's it's kind of unnecessary. Every other enemy can be killed with a shotgun or the grenade launcher. Yeah, I guess they just wanted a third weapon or a uh, fourth weapon. Well, it's completely unnecessary. Uh, like, it's not a thing you need to get. It's a bonus. Okay, so where did you get the wind thing again? You know, in the room where there was the the dumb bee puzzle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That room was also not mandatory. You didn't have to go there at all. Oh, so you will remember that one sting will be forever for no good reason. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Uh, Brad, Brad. The helicopter can pilot. you hear me? Uh oh. Shit. That's broken. Of course it is. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, zombie dog. It's a ghost dog, however. And I noticed the shotgun has a nice um yeah, holy shit, area that's of a attack. Huge spread. Yeah, it has a nice spread. And the dogs again uh bit me, but I did not take any damage. 
Yeah, it was just a cute little bite. So despite there being three dogs, they still couldn't do any damage. Yeah, but you still have a shotgun, so... Jail does not want to get wet in this pool. Oh. Also, to be fair, there might be piranhas or something. With this mansion, you don't know. Yeah, I guess. But let me guess, there's going to be nothing whenever you empty this, unlike the bathtub at the beginning. It's a pool. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. So did that mean anything, or it's just uh, yes? Yes, it, it's a it's a clue for something later. Oh, okay. I thought I thought like that might be like a some some time limit element or something. No, um, it's just that when you. Um, when you open the pool, you basically let, uh, like, a flow of water block your way somewhere. I uh hope. -huh. But you need to empty the water from the pool. Like, you see, you see this waterfall? It's only there when you empty the pool. Ah, when okay. you When you close the pool, it blocks this flow of water and you can... Uh, you can go in the entrance behind that waterfall because apparently Jill really does not want to get wet. <laughs> so you can't go in that entrance if there's that waterfall, okay? Poison gas, zombies, and all of this. Nah, no, that's alright, but water, ugh! Also, these little snakes are venomous. Uh, they will poison you if they manage to uh, bite you. Oh god, and by this point, I think we're pretty far away from the server. Well, thankfully, uh, in this place, there's a new type of herb, a blue herb. Uh oh. Which, uh, heal, uh, poison. Ah. Uh, so is there a point to mixing them both, or...? Uh, you can't. I was trying to, to save room, but you can't. Ah. Uh -huh. Because there's one left, but it doesn't matter. You can only mix them with, uh, uh, green herbs. Okay. That and that saves room because it doesn't like make them more powerful. Ah, all right, we finally got a battery pack back. <laughs> right, and we don't need to see me shuffle like my inventory for five minutes straight. So let's just cut that. Ah, uh, that was my favorite part of the LP. No, you don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the the place we're gonna be in for the couple next uh, updates. It's the resident residence outside the mansion. Oh, oh god! Okay, yeah, that's, that's a welcoming community. I will admit, this is another thing that scared me the fuck out when I was a kid. Yeah, it's kind of sudden. Yeah, um, I'll have to say I kind of like the monsters in this game. Um, also an oil lamp. So I hope you brought. The lighter. And there's a strange silhouette, a symbol. You'd better write that down. Oh, yeah, it's an iris. I I have to say, I kind of like the monsters in this game because, like, aside from the zombies, uh, it's basically just, like, regular scary things, but bigger, like a big snake or a big spider or a dog. Yeah, but the dogs aren't that big, or at least not yet. The Raccoon City Police Department has weird prizes. <laughs> Resident Evil presents, but I, I think I got kind of distracted here. <laughs> well, and there's to another God one City. of those. This one is orange. But yeah, well, I like and there's only, yeah, yeah, there's only uh, two eyelashes. Yeah, and there's some uh, billiard balls, and they all have a color and a number. You should also write that down. There doesn't seem to be uh, any kind of order or rhyme or reason, but hey, there's a rhyme and reason! Well, we'll see that later. In the next update, I think. I don't think we solved this puzzle now. 
Uh, I thought for a second that was like uh, some insect onto the counter. Now, a thing that's neat is that those little symbols that appear under the lamps, they're random. They change every playthrough. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the puzzles, like, you still solve it the same way, but I think it's neat. So we found a book called Bandage with Blood. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good title. <laughs> Apparently, unfortunately, there's, it's, there's nothing. It's a blank book. Alright, so it's time for you to make up your own bandage. Alright, uh, also, just because the spider is dead uh, doesn't mean you're safe. If you still walk in the poison, you get poisoned. Oh. Uh, I had no idea that was a thing. I just found that out, like, in this playthrough. Yeah, that's kind of a random fuck you. So, well, yeah, I'm walking around this one. <laughs> Fuck that. Just in case that it decides to be pusses with the uh, with the sudden with the sudden desire of uh, bleeding. Okay, so I I like I I hope you like uh, block pushing. Oh god. <laughs> so you see here in this uh, part of the room, there's two holes. Oh, you have to block the holes. Well, you you have to block this one so you can climb above those boxes and avoid the other one uh, because if you go near those holes uh, a big tentacle will try to grab you and do damage oh okay I thought you would I have... just fall in and die or something no it just has like half your health of damage yikes I have no desire of actually showing that so I'm just gonna tell you alright fair enough there's newspapers about, about stars. Someone is planning something about stars, about us. Either, hmm. that, or, either that or he's a member of, uh, of the fan club. The stars fan club. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't part of our deal. Like I said, I have my orders. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Don't be a hard dog to keep under the porch, Barry. What about my family? I will guarantee their safety. <sighs> if I play my cards right. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway. Maybe I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Well, very I'm sure professional that was Yeah, very professional actor. Alright, so here's a pretty long file that is... Um... Let's say, um, foreshadowing of what we're gonna have to face later. Oh Apparently, boy. they you the, the scientists used their uh, T-virus on a plant, and it became kind of big and out of control. Oh boy. And we actually have seen parts of that plant. Can you remember where? Uh, was that like the, that one plant that you destroyed with the chemicals or yes. something? Yes, yes, with a fountain. This was part of that plant. Apparently it stretches all the way to the mansion, but, um, the actual plant is in here somewhere. Oh boy. And, uh, like, this text contains 
little clues on how you can fight it? Unfortunately, uh, several of our scientists. So it's a nasty planet. It's basically the next boss. Uh -oh. Might as well tell you that straight. Also, I have to wonder, uh, whoever Barry was talking about, where the hell did he go? Because there's no window in that room! But there's probably a bookcase that you can push or something. Well, yes, um, we can push these bookcases to open a way, but like, this place, the place that it opens up doesn't have any exit to the outside, so it still begs the question, where the hell did that person go? Or and we're not gonna go. Barry is schizophrenic for real. Ah, no, I got it. The guy ju is just hiding inside the the bathtub. Who do you think it is? Uh, let me guess. Well, oh, I know the other character you can play as. Yes, it's Chris. Oh, hello. Hey, rude. I'm just trying to do go wash myself. Why Come on, are the, you the my bathroom? bathroom Occupado, dude. It's my bathroom, all right. That that completely surprised me. I forgot this ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even give you like the little clue of the door rattling. It's just hello. <laughs> I want to pee. Oh, maybe that was a person talking to Barry. Yes, he was talking to his zombie. Yes. But we don't have to destroy stars. Man, this explains everything. Alright, time for another spooky moment. Oh dear. Oh boy, hang hang zombies. Well it's not a zombie, it's just a hanged person. Oh. Alright, we'll have a hand we'll have a handgun clip. Oh a self descent it's the most worthless piece of shit gun. Don't use it. Okay. It can hold one bullet. <laughs> And here's the basically the suicide note of the guy uh, was part of a little group of survivors that got bitten and eventually decided that he didn't want to become a zombie, so he jumped. Uh oh. And also regrets uh, participating in a project that makes zombies. He he, you know, he had second thoughts about that. He thought, you know, that. In hindsight, it yeah. wasn't a good idea. You know, my plan of having uh, bloodthirsty zombies didn't actually end up working for Well, you know, they're scientists, so th there it's more like um, they got paid to do this, and they probably didn't, like, they needed money and didn't really think of the consequences. Oh dear. Well, there was a big noise outside, but I'm just gonna check what's in that bathtub. Because <laughs> that's what we do in this game. And there's oh, a key. Okay. <laughs> also, this guy is awake now. Alright, and now what's with the big noise? Um, well, I could have just left. Honestly, that's what you're supposed to do, or should do. But I couldn't, like... Oh, hey, the zombie witch was angry. Yeah, I was really curious. Where the hell is he? Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and I wasted a battery doing this. If only you had your son. So, yeah, there's, like, there's not even... It's not even useful to deal with that. It's funny because, like... Um, in the safe room of this place, there is some kerosene, but there's no zombie in the corridors, there's just zombies in specific rooms that you're only gonna visit once. So this kerosene is entirely pointless. Oh boy. And I figure at this point of the game, you don't get to see as many zombies. Um... I guess, yeah, you, you see less of them, because there's other enemy types that... 
starts appearing, and I forgot to cut another part of me shuffling inventory around and taking two blue herbs. Um, big. Mm -hmm, I don't. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem like the wisest of plans. No, because where we're going, we don't need those herbs. I think I got confused as to what I was supposed to do next, and I just realized that. Okay. Um, on the way. I recorded these, like, weeks ago, okay? I don't remember everything. Okay. Yeah, you can see my confusion in here. Wait, what <laughs> am I doing? Uh, I thought you were just looking at the pretty butterflies. Right, so now we're gonna push those bookcases. Now we get to finally go to that one place. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was definitely designed with that in mind, considering that somehow the two bookcases are not even put against the walls or something. Yeah, it, it feels like they were hastily shuffled there to hide this very poorly. Also, even the ladder gets a loading screen. <sighs> Alright. So, um, I hope, I hope you like pushing puzzles. Oh god, no, Actually, why? that's not even a pushing puzzle, that's just, that's just, uh, block pushing for the sake of block pushing. Oh no, 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 no! I did not, I did not cut this because no. that wouldn't be true to the Resident <laughs> Evil spirit experience. No, no! <laughs> I'll just yeah. keep yelling until this part is over. God you, damn it. you just you just have to push all three blocks to make a bridge on this water because again Jill does not want to get wet. This is so dumb. Why is uh, this happening? I, I don't know. It's... <laughs> Look, they really they really needed you to see uh, the complex light effects that they got in this in this room. Well, is it like a remake thing or? Is I... that also a puzzle in the original game? You know, I'm not entirely sure. I may have to check. I think it was in the original. Yeah, but then in the original there was no light effect. Yeah, come on, look at this. It's it's um very pretty and impressive <laughs> that they can that they can put light effects like this on backgrounds that are actually uh, 2D. Yeah, I guess that's neat. So, does something happen if you fall in the water? Or, oh. You can't fall oh, in the no, water. Oh no, you got it's... wet, wet, Jill! No, ah! you cannot fall in the water. If all the boxes are not there, you just get an invisible wall. Oh. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Oh god, it's a shark. Nah, 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 uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just a shark. It's not even a zombie shark. Or I guess maybe they're enraged by the T-Virus. But I like <laughs> to think they're just normal sharks. Oh, come on. Respect the priority of our path. Okay, I guess the music is a little late here. Well, not exactly. There's like a, a way bigger shark that will eat you if you wait for too long. Okay. And that's what the music is supposed to be telling you. Ah, okay. And I, you know, I'll say it's pretty effective. The first time I played this, I was freaked out. Yeah, I just this, thought that the... Um, this next part is also somewhat effective at what it's trying to do. Uh oh. Alright, so you got a bunch of consoles here. Right, a Nintendo 64, a GameCube... <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. So there's a switch <laughs> to drain the water, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. There's a pressure shelter that you push down to... Well, you'll see, actually. Uh -oh. There's a note here that you should read in case of oil pressure drop open valve number three. That's an important clue. There's a map. Because this map. place is very complicated when you're the map. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's a semi-circle. It's like three rooms, come on. <laughs> All 
Right, and the valves that they're talking about are... Just pick that up. They're right there. Ah, uh, alright. Okay, so now that we got all the clues... Let's remove okay. the water. Okay, and then there will be something that will require you to uh, turn on valve number two. Look, look. Just watch. Oh god. Apparently draining the water makes the shark very uh, angry. And it stops the water drain process. Which is kind of weird. You'd think if the pressure is high you'd want to drain the water. But anyway, you're gonna have to, we're going to have to engage the pressure shelter. But you have to release the safety first. So you do that. Okay. Then you activate the, the pressure shelter thing. You are timed, by the way. There is a time limit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's pressure. Um, but we need more oil, so we have to turn the valve. Yeah. Alright, it's valve number three. Alright. So now now the, the pressure shelter should work. Let's just reactivate that. Oh, wait. We have to release the safety. Again. Again. Emergency drainage system immediately. God, that voice is so unnerving. There we go. Alright, so imagine if that's the first time you're doing this and you just press the drain water button just randomly because that one, it was there. And now you have to do all this shit and there's this crazy noise and there's the shark that keeps pounding in the window. It's, it's kind of effective. Yeah. I will admit that. I have to say, that was a really nice puzzle. Um, I think the first time I did this, like, I solved it at the last, very last second. Like, the pressure was at 90%, I think. Yikes. It was pretty nerve-wracking, so I will, I will give the game points for being somewhat effective here. Uh, too bad we cannot have a diving suit. Nope. So now we're right near her residence that just happens to have this uh, acquiring uh, science of this. I, I, you know, I think I think we need to mercy kill those sharks. They don't need to suffer anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you might have noticed this place is not exactly normal. It might be um, where there was some experiments. Ooh. Oh dear, this one isn't dead. Um, so you could waste all your bullets trying to shoot it. Or... Oh, create a power electricity shortage. You can just fry it. Yep. And then there's no danger of going back in the water, because apparently the thing breaks. Yeah. Well, it's kind of understandable. I don't know how these things work. Oh, and there's an item. And there's another key. Alright, let's keep the key to our residence inside of our lab with top secret experiments with sharks. Yeah. I mean, this is basically an adventure game, you know. This is a, a LucasArts, no, um, Sierra adventure game. This is yeah. something. Yeah, because Lu if it was a LucasArts game, you wouldn't be able to ever die. Oh, they don't do that in LucasArts? No. It's like there's only one game in which you can die. I think it's like one of the Monkey Island games. It's like... The, I'm, fairly the sure, I'm fairly sure you can die in full throttle. I Like the last sequence, you can. Oh. Never played that one. That's a pretty good one, you should. So I guess we're gonna backtrack to a safe room and we will see what's in the gallery next time. Oh, hell yeah, yes. that's Magnum Yeah, rounds. and we got Magnum Rounds. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the update. We're just gonna get out of here. Alright.
So ni nice camera angle on Jill's ass. Yeah. Very classy game. Well, I suppose that if you play as uh, Chris, then you also get the Chris butt cam. Yeah, which is just as nice. Yeah, there's something for everybody. Now time for the spooky corridor. We'll see you next time.